good afternoon from the Biomarine Convention pitching sessions. With me, I have uh, Randall Johnson. Welcome, Randall. Thank you. From uh, North Carolina Biotechnology Center, um, which is, uh, was founded in 1984 and um, uh, helps projects to develop by investing in, 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 in this field. Um, can you tell us a little bit of how did the, um, the, the center started and how you are now spanning in terms of projects you sure. support? Sure. We're fortunate to have very visionary leaders in North Carolina who about 30 years ago decided to start in investing in the biotech community. Uh, they weren't really sure what biotech was or what, what it was going to develop into, but they did invest a little bit in starting the biotech center. From that, we've grown an industry into about 600 companies in North Carolina, 60,000 employees, um, in addition to the many, many uh, support companies for that. So over the past 30 years, we've continued to invest in research at universities through our, some of our grant programs. We invest in businesses through our business loan programs and through other economic development uh, activities and working with partners, the Department of Commerce and others to help companies relocate to North Carolina and to help the ones that are there grow and stay there. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Um, in these last uh, 30 years that, that you, you've, been, uh, you've been helping the economy to, 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 to boom, um, which would be uh, uh, the profile that uh, you would seek a, in a company, for instance, to get support from, from your center? Well, I think originally when our leaders started the biotech center, they thought we were going to focus mainly on agricultural biotech. We have developed a very strong agricultural biotech community, which is uh, second in the nation for the number of companies. But we really uh, developed more of a biopharmaceutical cluster there. We have some of the largest biotech, uh, biopharmaceutical companies in the world headquartered in North Carolina. Uh, beyond that, we started to develop assets and activities around the entire state, and those became much more diverse. So marine biotech fits in there well, ag biotech continued to grow, industrial biotech. So when we look at an opportunity, we really don't have walls that we build around those opportunities. We look at any opportunity. If we think it's worthwhile and related to biotech, we'll work with that opportunity, help it grow, and potentially invest. I would also say that um, our investment is, is used to leverage greater investment. We're a, a state-funded organization. We are a private nonprofit, but we're state-funded. So we look to use the little bit of funding that we receive to leverage angel capital, venture capital, equity capital of all, of all sorts. Okay. Is it a must that the project is actually located, headed in, uh, in the state? We are North Carolina Biotech Center, so we want the organizations to be in North Carolina and to benefit the state. But with that being said, we do have many international partnerships. We do encourage companies that uh, would like a North Carolina foothold or a U.S. foothold, but they're an inter international company, to locate or to work with our researchers or to work with our existing companies. So uh, that's a fine line we walk. We ultimately want the benefit for North Carolina but it's really ultimately for humanity. So we, we work with uh, global partners, uh, universities and companies. Okay. Is there a, a minimum or a maximum basket of funds that you bring to a project? For our business loans, we have a maximum of $500,000. Mm -hmm. uh, we have company inception loans that start about 50,000. We have technology enhancement grants that are about 30,000 to help a university idea, get closer to the marketplace, and then the 50000 to start the company, and up to 500000 for the strategic growth loan. That's where we use that money to leverage much greater investment from the equity investment community. Um, from a research perspective, we have grants that will fund very small projects up to very large projects and multidisciplinary or multi-university um, projects. I'll say, too, um, speaking of the number of universities, we have a university system of 17 universities, 50-plus community colleges for workforce training, including uh, the University of Wilmington, North Carolina Wilmington, where I'm located in Wilmington, that has a huge focus on marine biotech. That's one of the areas uh, that I think it has our, our, uh, the greatest strengths for our future in North Carolina. Okay, thank you. 
Uh, on top of the, um, of the funding, which is obviously very important mm -hmm. so for a starting company, which other, which other benefits can you bring to a new starting project? A lot of what we do at the North Carolina Biotechnology Center is connect people to each other and to other resources. So our resources from a monetary perspective are relatively limited, but our people uh, are, are the magic um, at the Biotech Center. We seek to connect companies to other companies, to investors, to researchers that might help uh, move their ideas toward the marketplace, to the workforce. So it's really about building a community for us and we've built a community, as we talked about over the past 30 years, that's become very strong uh, across the entire state. I'll mention too, um, we do have a headquarters in what's called Research Triangle Park, where there's Duke University and mm -hmm. University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill, and NC State. But we have research assets and company assets all over the whole state. And we've, in fact, started regional offices over the past 10 years in different parts of the state where there were strengths uh, for biotech and we've used those offices to develop the strengths into additional clusters. Okay. Yeah. So, your presence here in, the, in this Biomarine Convention in, in Portugal, what are the key uh, aspects that uh, um, you try to derive back home from being here present? Part of it is uh, the deal-making opportunities and connecting with companies that might be interested in expanding. Uh, uh, they might be interested in relocating, we would love that, but I think more importantly and, and more what we're interested in is for a company that might be a global company to think about North Carolina when they think about expanding their operations. We're a great location to have a U.S. foothold if a, a global company is interested in starting up in uh, U.S. or gaining a presence there. They can come to North Carolina. We've had so many examples of European companies, for instance, who have come to us and said, we want to be part of the U.S., we would love to be in North Carolina, and we help those companies locate here. So that's, that's part of it. The other part is knowledge, gaining knowledge and learning from the speakers and connecting with thought leaders in marine biotech from around the world. That's always important at this conference. And it's partially also to build momentum for the conference next year, which we're fortunate to be able to host in Wilmington, North Carolina for 2015. So uh, we're, we're happy that uh, Pierre and Vero and the board have decided to, to have Biomarine and, and let us host it in Wilmington. And that is with my uh, uh, North Carolina Biotechnology Center with my co-host, Deb Mosca from the Marine Biotechnology Center of Innovation. Yeah, I would like to congratulate you for, for hosting the event next year. Thank you. We, we're sure it will be uh, as at least as good an event as this one is being so far. This has been a wonderful event. The area is beautiful. The leadership here is wonderful in Portugal, all the way from the mayor to the president and uh, with Prince Albert's leadership, as well as Pierre and Vero and all the CEOs of the companies and, and uh, all the folks here. It's been an amazing event. It's going to be hard to top this. but. We certainly will try and uh, we'll look forward to having the community there with us in Wilmington next year. Yeah, we will look forward also to, to meeting you there uh, and we're sure that it will be a marvelous event as well. So thank you very much for, your, for, for being with us. Thank you.